We took a journey to the heart of the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia, down long corridors into oversized elevators and through doors, lots of doors, for a lesson on how to lose money while making money. It sounds a little bit like Las Vegas around here, except the coins never stop coming. This is the presidential dollar coin. They're making them to honor every dead president, but nobody seems to want them. Not even the one for Rutherford B. Hayes. Rutherford B. Hayes, hot off the press. Literally, these coins are still warm. Made of manganese brass, they cost 32 cents a pop to make. The mint can make 1.8 million a day. Do the math, that's nearly $600,000 a day. Because almost nobody uses these things, most go directly into storage. We found a bunch of them 100 miles down the road in a vault. Here at the Federal Reserve in Baltimore, the coins are packed into plastic bags, stacked one on top of each other, all the way up and down this aisle, several aisles of them, millions and millions of dollars in presidential coins. And some are in boxes. It turns out there just is not much demand for a President Polk dollar. The Federal Reserve says the coins are piling up so quickly, they are now spending $650,000 to build a new vault in Dallas to hold them. Shipping the coins there will cost another $3 million. Why is all this happening? Because back in 2005, Congress ordered the Mint to make the coins, believing there would be a huge demand from consumers and collectors. The demand never came, but the coins keep coming and coming and coming. Senator Jack Reed was one of the co-sponsors of that bill, but not even he uses the dollar coins. Use any of these things? Do you have any of these in your pocket I right now? I don't, I tell you. Uh, but I, like everyone else, repeatedly used uh, nickels, dimes, quarters. Senator Reid now says Congress should consider pulling the plug on the dollar coin. Meanwhile, they keep piling up, already more than a billion made and counting.